Hello and welcome to my video today. I am going to be going over the latest update I received on my car yesterday, which is 2024.44.3. And this also includes some changes from 44.1. Let's go to the software. Oh, by the way, I just hit 71,000 miles on my 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. Let's go down to the release notes. All right, so the first item we have here is trailer friendly superchargers. You can now see whether a supercharger has trailer compatible stalls. Tap a supercharger locations pin on the map to see whether it is trailer friendly. If your vehicle is in trailer mode, trailer friendly supercharger locations appear at the top of the list. Well, that doesn't really apply to my car because I don't have a tow setup, but let me go into the navigation and get an example of this. All right, let's look on trailer friendly superchargers. I am going to go back into navigation. Let's go look for charging. Let's look at Nightdale. Now, don't see anything listing that. Even the latest superchargers in my area, I haven't noticed any in my metro area that have added pull through spots. So, um, oh, you know what? Let me check one last one here. Morrisville. Ah, oh, that's got to be it. Supercharger Morrisville. Let's click on that one. Six of 12 available. I'm not sure why they don't list it, but there are pull through spots at this. I thought there were pull through at this one, but maybe not. Yeah. The latest one that is at our airport does have V4 superchargers, but I don't see, no, they don't have pull through. So yeah, um, can't give you an example of any that are trailer friendly superchargers in my area. That's the closest one that I know of, but otherwise, yeah, I'll have to look around and see if I can find any others. One of the other recent additions was the supercharger in Wake Forest. That one does have at least one spot that looks like it's uh, towing friendly. I'm not sure why it doesn't have it listed on the towing friendly sites. So maybe it's something that they haven't fully implemented yet locally for me. But I know there's at least this one location that has a towing friendly spot. Hmm. All right, I'll have to look into that in another video. Next up, we have other updates. When you plug in a DC fast charging cable and the battery is too cold for fast charging, an estimated remaining battery heating time is displayed, indicating when charging can start. Improved battery energy estimation for better accuracy while driving. The Battle of Polytopia has a reworked aquarium arrives. Mermaids rule land and sea, chill with sharks and jellies, and uncover lost ocean cities. Important security enhancements and improvements. Minor fixes and performance enhancements have been applied. Well, that's it for the official things that I have on this update, so not a huge amount of changes. One thing I have seen for some vehicles, there is a blind spot warning while parked if you have the new or also known as the Highland Model 3. If you attempt to open a door while an approaching object is detected in your blind spot, for example, a bicyclist approaching from behind, the blind spot indicator light flashes. A chime sounds and your door will not open 
upon initial button press. Wait a short time and press the button a second time to override the warning. Not sure if this is going to be added to other vehicles at some point. I guess we'll see what happens. There's also auto park improvements. Your vehicle's auto park performance and visualizations have been improved. As with all autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action, including canceling auto park. I don't have enhanced autopilot or FSD on my vehicle, so I can't really test these auto park improvements. So if you do have them, that's great. And lastly, we have cold weather improvements. Battery preconditioning has been improved for better supercharging performance as well as better automatic windshield defogging during and after supercharging. I'll have to test that out the next time I go to the supercharger in colder weather. However, we don't get super cold in my area. Maybe about 20 degrees Fahrenheit is about the coldest we see. In any case, if I do happen to test that, I'll let you know. All right, well, that was about it for the update of 2024.44.3, which also includes 44.1. If there's anything I missed or anything else that you've seen in your update, please let me know in the comments section. In fact, if there's anything you'd like me to do in future videos, please let me know as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.